Hey guys, welcome back once again. And thank you so much for the comments and the feedback on my previous videos. In today's session, we're going to discuss about MSAT Achieve Math Test Algebra Chapter Number 6, which we named as Complex Numbers. So before starting the video, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it and click on the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. And also share to your friends and the students who are looking to prepare for MSAT exams. So let's get started. Chapter number six, complex numbers. Generally, complex numbers are written in this form as Z is equals to X plus I, Y, or it can also be written as Z is equals to A plus B, I, where I is representing an imaginary number and whose value will be square root of negative one. And here we're going to discuss different types of questions. What you can expect on a complex number. Let me tell you complex number is a completely a calculator type topic. So while doing any operations on the complex number, put your calculator in the complex mode. You just need to press on the button mode of your scientific calculator. Select two. Two is for complex CMPLX it will be written and do any basic operations what they expect you to do like addition, multiply, divide or anything they are expecting you to do. So just straightforward you can do it on the complex number, straightforward on the calculator. So example one here is identify the quadrant when the sum of the complex number 2 plus 4i and minus 5 plus 7i is graphed. So sum of the complex number falls in which quadrant? So generally complex plane can also be divided into four quadrants. So like how do we say X, Y plane? We can also say a complex plane. X axis here we represent it as a real number and Y axis we represent it as an imaginary number. So this is the real and this is the imaginary. So what actually real and imaginary? If we look into the general form, X is representing a real y is representing this together is representing as an imaginary as the term got multiplied by i anything multiplied by i that entire thing we say it is an imaginary part so x is a real and y times i is an imaginary so real axis we read the same way like one two three and here it's gonna be minus one minus two and so on y axis should be written as i to i which is in the terms of i okay so 3i 4i and so on minus i minus 2i and so on these two whatever we have divided x a uh, real and imaginary these have divided into four quadrants so this is the first quadrant what i say this is the second quadrant this is the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant now what will be the sign of complex numbers on each quadrant the sign of complex numbers here are in the first quadrant, both real number and imaginary number has positive sign. For example, if I ask you what is the quad complex number representing here, if I say A is a complex number, what it is? Real is 1, imaginary number is 2i. So it should be written as 1 plus 2i, which is a complex number. Similarly, in the second quadrant, real number negative, imaginary number positive. In the third quadrant, both of them have negative sign and in the fourth quadrant real number positive imaginary number negative these are the complex numbers with the quadrant and their sign of real and imaginary in each so question is about that the sum of complex number this when i'm using the word sum sum is basically addition right so when we add two complex numbers what will be the result i can take help of calculator or I can simply combine like terms. So sum, it's basically, as I said, combine like terms, two plus four I add with, <coughs> sorry, minus five plus seven I. Just do that addition of it. So how do we combine two minus five? So we are adding real number with real number and imaginary number with imaginary. So two minus five, it's gonna be minus three. 4i plus 7i, 4 plus 7, it's going to be plus 11i. So what the result is? R result is minus 3 plus 11i. This is the sum of the complex number and in which 
real number is negative imaginary number is positive so negative and positive belongs to the second quadrant answer to this question is option b this is an another type of question what you can get in exam on the complex number which is they are asking you to simplify i to the power 99 here calculator won't help us to get directly some calculator helps us i can put it calculator in the complex mode and type it i to the power 99 you get an answer but some they don't so if your calculator doesn't give you answer then how do we do that so i just need to remember few things regarding answering to such question so what are those i to the power value if i to the power 0 result is 1 i to the power 1 is gonna be i i to the power 2 is gonna be minus 1 i to the power 3 is gonna be minus i and if you repeat the same pattern for example i to the power 4 is 1 i to the power 5 is i i to the power 6 is gonna be minus 1 and so on what you can observe here after the pattern of 4 that is 1 i minus 1 minus i same thing start repeating 1 i minus 1 minus i and so on so while finding it up i to the power 99 if you write it such 99 times what will be the complex number representing so it is a way longer to do it that way so rather than doing that what i can do here is whatever the power of i whatever it is 10 20 whatever the number whatever the power of i i just divide that power by 4 always divided by 4 why because after a pattern of 4 the numbers are started repeating when you are dividing by 4 it shows how many sign how many time the number got repeated and the remainder says the current power of i so when you divide uh, 99 by 4 4 times 2 is gonna be 8 9 minus 8 is 1 take it this down and 4 times 4 is gonna be 16 so 19 minus 16 is gonna be 3 which is a remainder so don't take help of calculator because calculator will not give you remainder here i need a value of remainder so what actually it is showing we have completed 24 cycles if this is the my first cycle this is the second cycle something we have completed 24 such pattern on the 25th cycle the power of i here is gonna be 3 so i should say i to the power 99 is same as i to the power remainder which is same as i to the power 3 and i told you what is the result of i to the power 3 which is negative i answer should be option d so you must memorize this okay i to the power 0 1 2 3 if you are not able to get this then i mean you won't memorize it or if you don't remember it you can't answer to the question if your calculator doesn't help if it is a calculator i mean if your calculator allows you to get it so no need of doing all just you need to put a, as it is in the calculator i'll show you because mine is a simulator which helps me to solve in i just take it into the complex mode i just press on the button mode i take it into a complex yep let me take it up mode and take it into the complex then what i get i'm already in the complex when you here you can see something it's representing complex i'll be writing it as i to the power 99 my answer is gonna be negative i so some calculator shows but some they don't if you are calculator allowing straightforward put it if not you have to follow this way all right question number three here is convert z is equals to six times e to the power i 62 z equal to x plus y i so what actually they are asking us to do this is a polar way of representing the complex number and this is the rectangular they are asking us to convert a polar form of complex number into a rectangular form or they might also ask you represent this in the complex form rectangular form are also a complex form so this is basically the polar and this is the rectangular or complex form so they are asking you to make this one into this so how do we write generally a polar form of a complex number can be written in this way so z is equals to r times e to the power i into theta which can also be written as z is equals to r times in the bracket 
cos theta plus i times sin theta, which can also be written as z is equals to r angle theta. These all are the polar form of a complex number, polar form. Then how do we write it in the rectangular form? So this is what I can say polar form. So rectangular form is rated as z is equals to x plus i y or y times i. This is the rectangular form of it. So question asking us to convert complex to rectangular. So how do we do? Let's take a help of calculator. I just need to take a help of calculator. So in this case, recognize what is the value of r and what is the value of theta. Compare this. When you are comparing this, what I get? The value of r what I can get here is going to be 6 and the theta what I get it here is going to be 60 degree. All right. So it's in a degree. So while converting that into a rectangular, take help of calculator. Press see your calculator in this case, not necessary to be in the complex mode. Your cal If your calculator is in the complex mode, it might not convert because we are not actually converting complex numbers. We are just converting something from polar to rectangle. So you can keep your calculator in general mode and work it up. Okay. So rather than saying in a complex. So how do we do? We have an options to do that. We are asked to convert polar to rectangle. So I need to press shift and here the button like, you know, negative, which is written rec on the top of it. So that is ask you to transfer polar to rectangular. So this simulator is showing R comma T. Your calculator might show you something like, you know, rec. Here this open bracket bracket opens. You have to type the R yourself six, then put a comma. Now to put a comma in between, you have to press shift and the button below the sign. You can, you can see that the top is representing comma of it. And then you have to type angle as 60 then press it equal simply on my simulator one i'll be doing r value is 6 comma it's already taken theta value is 60 when i press it as equal i'm getting x value is 3 y value is 5.196 something so which can be written as z is equals to 3 plus 5.196 something i so which is the nearest one 3 plus 5.19 or 3 plus 5.2 i after rounding it. So answer to this question is going to be option B.